Yes, yes, guys, this is Nitty Nass, and here we are back again to talk about some Black Ops 3 news. What we're going to be talking about today, guys, is about the lethal and tacticals that are going to be available within this game war when it comes out. So what I'm going to do is going to give you a little bit of a rundown, a little bit of chat along the way. So let's start off with those lethals. Okay, first of all is going to be the grenade and the Semtex. We all know what they're about. They're all going to work pretty much the same way. I think the only thing different at the moment is I think the, the range of being able to throw them has been reduced. So you're not chucking them across the map like you used to in Black Ops 2 for, say, like standoff on when you're playing Domination. That was always a fun one. Um, next up is Return. It is the... Mokotolov cocktail. I know I can't say that word for love nor money. I really struggle. I, I don't know why, but it's just me. But that's returning in the form of the thermite grenade. So that is going to be a good one. For me, it's quite a lot of fun, but you can use it quite tactically as well. Because even if you don't kill anyone, it's going to make a nice big fire on the ground. So you can use that to your advantage in objective based game modes, anything from domination to hard point and things like that. So that's quite good. Another one that is returning, I know it has been covered before by other people, but like C4 is returning, as we all know. And I am glad that there is no air bursting, basically. Like, you just chuck it over a fence and just quickly double tap and it explodes. I think that's a lot better. Yeah, okay, you can probably chuck it as long as it lands on the floor, you can still detonate it. The only thing that I do find with it is I hope to God is not going to be like the IED because as far as I know it's got like a little indicator on it if you say you leave it somewhere and someone's in a quite close radius it will pick them up and it's, it'll give you a little tiny red dot on your HUD so apparently it's quite easily missable but I'm just thinking like in a couple of videos that I've watched that if you put that up against like one of the cars like I've seen domination there's like a car on the point and if say like the people are coming from a different direction and they get on there and they don't see it, say, stuck to the side of the car. That, that could be quite an advantage kind of thing. I mean, if you're a rushing kind of person, you're trying to get around the map, you might not notice that little indicator going off. But if you're a little bit more tactile, you know, you're sitting around trying to protect some of the flags, I mean, that could really, really work in your favour. And I don't think there's really going to be anything stopping anyone who's using snipers or whatever else like that to maybe like sit around just that little bit more and have them behind them because at the end of the day they're going to know when someone's coming up behind them so I'm going to be interested to see how that one pans out I really am I don't want it to be like the IED because the IED was just so overused it really was it got quite annoying to be honest yeah okay let's move on to the next one anyway the trip mine which is basically like the pouncing bay but they made it a little bit more difficult this time so it's going to explode in the air and on the ground so you know instead of just being able to lay down or you just jump over it or whatnot else it's going to make it a little bit harder apparently the only way you can get past it basically is by boost sliding so that's going to be one of those ones and also the combat axe is returning i mean that's just a fun one that really is i mean as far as i know you can still throw that one at the same sort of distance so i'm sure there'll be a, a few uh, kill cans rolling around with uh, some nice long throws with that one now let's move on to the tax now we're going to move on to uh, concussions this time it pretty much works the same as far as I know. Apparently it doesn't stop you shooting this time. So it's, maybe it's been nerfed in some sort of way. But you know it's, it makes it a lot better. Because sometimes you can be hit and that, that's it all over. I suppose it depends how much you do get hit. But apparently it doesn't stop you shooting at all. Then the flashbangs are popping up. Now mainly the flashbangs this time you just get a big white screen. You know, it's not going to stop you moving or anything else. So you can fail to lay down or, you know, try and hide out the way if you possibly know your surroundings. Then we're going to move on to EMP. Now, these ones were quite widely used. To, more like to find out where people were and everything else like that. Uh, mainly, it's, this time it is for equipment more than anything else. Apparently, like, it does limit your um, your boosting and your sliding and everything else like that but it doesn't affect your HUD or anything else so you know unless like like the system hack and things like that so you can still be able to see things around it's just not going to be able to move around the map just as quickly uh, also smoke grenades are returning I didn't think there's much doubt about that one at all uh, also the trophy system the usual shebang with that one shock charges are returning now these are the love or hate ones 
I mean, they are good. They are pretty good. And they are a lot of fun. I mean, like, you can hold down an area with these. I know they work quite well when people used to love sticking them with Bouncer Betties. They absolutely love sticking them with Bouncer Betties. You see them everywhere, especially, like, once again on the map standoff. If people are in the houses, you'd have that stuck to the walls and whatnot else. And then you get your Bouncer Betties floating around everywhere. So that would be quite interesting to see how they're going to work. And apparently you can stick them on the walls where you're wall running and it'll show charge people and it will drop them down so you can either they'll drop down onto ground or they'll drop off the map and they'll die so that, that's gonna be an interesting one let's hope that doesn't get spammed too much especially by a load of teams just chucking a load of shot charges obviously you can combat it with obviously your perk but you have to see how that one plans out and another one apparently that is making return is the tracking drone uh the one from advanced warfare which floats around the map like says where someone is i mean it was a complete waste of time i, I think I've only seen about a few people i've ever seen try and put on i personally have never ever tried it nor do i ever want to try it i've got to be honest but that's a bit of a roundup of the ones is there any ones in there that you're happy about guys you're happy about seeing those chop charges back are you happy with c4 the way it is even with that little indicator it's quite interesting to see but leave your comments in the section below and give me your feedback on this one guys or you can contact me on twitter but coming up on my screen in a minute guys is going to be my subscribe button please click on that and if you could drop a like on this video and help support my channel that'd be absolutely amazing this is going to be nearly last and i'll catch you later